Hi, my loving grade 6 children. I am DMS Disanayak, teacher, Bandaranayak College, Kampa. My loving children, today we are going to learn lesson I myself inquire information regarding me. This is a lesson of Unit 1, Grade 6, Civic Education, our school. Let's we talk about I myself inquire information regarding me. As a student, you have to learn about yourself. You have to understand about yourself. What information you have to learn about you? First, my personal information. My skills. My weaknesses. Good qualities I possess. Obstacles and challenges I face in life. This information you have to learn about you. First, who am I? Children, you know you are an extra special individual. No one on earth is equal to you. You should be your own self. That is your identity. Think of you. There is no one like in this world. You are very unique. No one in this world cannot find like you. Therefore, you have to think about how much important of your life. Press C. You have to get very important information about you. Think of following questions. Your full name, your age, your address, date of admission to school, admission number given to you. These are some information you want to know. Your full name. I think you know about your full name, your age. I think you are now 10 years Maybe 11 years. Your address. Date of admission to school. The very first day. You go to school with your parents. And after that you meeting principal. You are given an admission number. So the day that you are given the admission number. We call the very first day. We joining you in school. Then admission number given to you. All of you have admission number. The number you have to remember well. That is important. Other important information about you. Think of very important information about you. We call it biodata. You want to know about this information about you. Name it initials. Date of birth. Age on January first this year. Years, months, days. Private address. You want to know telephone number, maybe hand phone number, maybe land phone number, name and address of inform in an emergency. It is very important. You always remember your parents' information, your father's phone number, your mother's phone number. It's very important. When there is an emergency, you want to inform your parents or guardian. Name of your high school, address of your high school. Many students don't know what is the address of your school, but you have to learn about the address of your school and school telephone number. Date of admission to school, distance you are residents from your school, how many kilometers to your school. This information you want to know as a student when you study in a school. 
Next, wants good qualities. My loving children, you are very good children. You have to develop, you have to improve good qualities you have. What are the good qualities you have to improve? Kindness. So important one. You want to help others. You have so many friends in school. You want to show kindness to your friends in school. That is good quality you possess. Happy. You have to be in happy. Why? Because we all like to be in a happy mood. Always happy with your friends like that. Next one, patient. You want to wait when something happens. You are to always patient. Simple way of living. Very simple way of living. Huh? The food you use, the clothes you wear. You want to spend a, a simple way of living. Discipline. Discipline. You have to follow teachers' advices, teachers' rules and regulation. When you go to home, you want to behave well. What the parents say, what the elders say, then you can be a well-behaved. Student, truthful, telling right things, telling good things, honest, don't do any bad words, respect others. These good qualities you try to develop. Think of you, these qualities you have, always try to improve good qualities. That is important to success your life. Next, one skills. Children, you have so many skills, talents. Identify what you can and what you like to do for doing it better. Some students have so many skills. You want to identify what skills you have. Think of these skills. Some students have ability in listening, speaking, reading and writing skills. Some ability to provide information correctly to another person and the ability to make decisions. Being creative, clever in studies, sports, oratory. These pictures you show that the talents you can show in a school. Some students can get medals, certificates, prizes in a school prize given. You can see the picture. Right? One student received a certificate from the principal. So you can show your talents. You have to identify what talents you have. The second picture shows you a student doing a high jump. I think he can do many sports events. So children, you have so many sports talents. You have to improve it when you go to school. The other one is study activities. Some students can do drawing, can do singing, can do Dancing like that. Various aesthetic activities you can do. These talents, these skills help you to become a, a successful person. Think of the points below in order to identify the talents you possess. What are the talents you have displayed? In what have you been a winner? What are the creations you have made? Some students can create many things. Have you identified the talents of others? What are the words you use to show 
you are appreciation of these talents what are the abilities others feel you possess for which talent of yours to do others praise you what did you feel when others praised you so always think of these points so you can understand what talents you have and you understand others talents you know about the very important person he possesses many talents focus your attention on the life story of a great sri lankan who utilized his talents in his childhood and conquer life and success life you know about him in your textbook there's a nice story of a person his name is c w w kannangar he had so many talents been a very clever student he scored the highest marks in mathematics at the cambridge senior examination of 1903 he was the lead of the school cricket team and a member of the football team he was a famous as a talented debater and an actor at school you can see you also have many talents let's see children how you develop your talents what methods what methodologies what ways you can use to develop your abilities and talents what you can use number 1 once on life experience you can use your own life experience life experience others possess maybe you are grand maybe you are grandparents maybe you are parents maybe you are elders maybe you are sisters brothers you have to get experience and other veterans you can get from within the family or through the social groups one represent you have so many members when you live in the society you can share their knowledge through the use of electronic media these day students use more information from electronic media like video clips internet tv programs radio programs you learn many things you can improve your talent some students can do good in computing and they can handle computer well and they can get many information many things from the electronic media number referring to a and the study books and the writings relevant to one's field of abilities these are the major method methods you can follow to develop your abilities and skills apart from these newspapers observing the experience of others and acting creatively these are the methods you can follow to develop your abilities right you try to develop your abilities always school is a best place school is a best place to improve your talents my loving children you always think what talents you have next one another thing one's weaknesses what weaknesses i have the bad things you try to avoid or remove these things from your life perceive some weaknesses impatient you don't have patience or tolerance you are in a, a busy mind or you are always uh, making problem with others so you have to remove this one impatient tears in friends tears in friends and some students in the classroom they put a nicknames to others it's not a good thing so weaknesses tears in friends then selfishness think about yourself and not helping others don't do that suspicion always in a suspicion mind 
quick temper, aggressiveness, harassing others, unwilling to help others. These are the main weaknesses some students have. You always remove these weaknesses from your life. Another thing, how we minimize weaknesses. We can put we can children get so many actions to minimize one weaknesses. What actions to be taken to minimize one weaknesses? Press put the identification of own weaknesses. You know about your weaknesses, but identify what weaknesses now I have. Then be humble enough to accept one weaknesses when others point them out to you, when your friend point them to you. This is your weakness and you have to accept it. Yes, that is my weakness. You have to identify what weakness when others point them out to you. Another one. Determine to minimize one weaknesses as much as possible. You have to think. I will minimize one weaknesses as much as possible. Another one. Take action to see that the identified weaknesses do not reoccur again. That is another important thing. To minimize one's weaknesses. When you always think that you have impatience, don't try to do it again. And hot tempered or the quick tempered, don't do that again. These are the things you have to understand about you. Another thing, my children. Obstacles and challenges you face. As a student, you may have faced challenges when involved in your education activities. I think recently you face a big challenge that is grade 5 scholarship exam. Apart from this one, some students have some challenges. What are they? And what are the obstacles? Obstacles means you are unable to success, so you are unable to go for a, a certain goal or target. You are obstructed, a challenges, also like that. So, what are the obstacle challenges you face? Economic difficulties. Some students unable to fulfill their needs because of economic difficulties, economical problems. Failure of others to respect your identity. Failure of others to respect your identity. Failure to get leadership. Failure of others to accept you. These are some of challenges faced by students. Let us focus attention on information regarding an individual who faced challenges and conquered life. You know, the one person uh, mentioned in your textbook, Professor Senaka Bibile. Senaka Bibile, you know about himself. Senaka Bibile, born on the 13th February in 1920, made Katalu Ahangama in the district of God, his home. He who entered Trinity College, Candy, for his basic education, faced a childhood full of wants and needs. On completing primary and secondary education, he entered the medical faculty of the Colombo University. Being an extremely clever student, he won the gold medal for medicine and gold medal for surgery, a rare achievement. 
for a student. In 1954, he became the head of the Pan College Department, set up for the first time at the Faculty of Medicine. Children, you have to face obstacle challenges. That is the a reality of our life. So, my children, life is full of challenges. You have to face it. By facing these challenges, you can achieve your target. You can win your life. Another important thing. Opportunities provided by the school for one's development. Now you learn you have so many talents, so many skills. Your school is the best place to improve your talents, knowledge, attitudes, skills and habits you acquire in school are of immense help to exist as a good citizen. You need knowledge, you need attitudes, good attitudes, skills and habits. So what are the opportunities given by the school for one's development? You step to school from grade 1, now you are in grade 6. You have so many opportunities to develop your talents. Involved in Ramadan, involved in studies in the classroom. You can see a, a picture showing sports and leadership training camp. You have various Opportunities in school, you can engage and you can improve your talents. Okay, my children. So, I think we discussed another one. Educational activities. Activities which develop pupils' personality. Feel towards. Activities which develop the skills of pupils. These are the opportunities provided by the school. Let's see, another important thing to understand about yourself, goals, my loving children, you have some goals, targets in your life, as a student, you should have honorable objectives for your success in life, it is very important that these objectives are good as well as effective. Inculcation of wholesome aims or positive aims contributes not only to your own but to the progress of society. When I ask a question from you, what is your ambition? You tell, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a teacher, like that. Goals are important to make your life success. Think of as a grade 6 student, what objectives you should possess? First, you think. What types of wholesome aims or positive aims or goals you should possess for the effectiveness of your life as a grade 6 student? Now you are in grade 6. What objectives you possess when you study in grade 6? You try to achieve these objectives, then you can can build a good person. Number one, obtaining over 80 marks in each subject. You have some set of subjects, mathematics, science, history, geography, civic education. You think, I will get 80 marks, over 80 marks in each subject. This is a goal you have as a grade 6 student. 
cultivation of leadership skills. How you become a leader? Monitor in the class. You can be a monitor in the class. You can be a subject leader. When you study in grade 6, getting the opportunity to take part in sports on behalf of your high school. You have so many sports events in, available in your school. Example, cricket, volleyball, football, athletics you have. So you try to participate in sport event and try to win and try to get a medal, try to get a certificate. Next, development of the ability to use second language apart from mother tongue. Our mother tongue is Sinhala language, maybe Tamil language. Apart from your mother tongue in Sinhala Maubasha, you have to use other languages. Some students learn other languages, other foreign languages. Examples, Japanese language, Chinese language, French language. You try to learn at least one language apart from your mother tongue. Some people can speak more than two languages, maybe three, maybe four. Another important one, God, development of the ability to handle the computer. Children, as a grade student, you have to know how to handle a computer. Some students are well aware about to operate computer. How to type uh, letters by using Microsoft Word, preparing PowerPoint presentation, handling computer is much needed. When you grade 6 think that I will accomplish these skills, these aims in my life. When you are a grade 6 student, these skills. Think what are the things you have to do to achieve these goals as a grade 6 student. Think of it, actions that can be taken to succeed in the achievement of one's goals as well as to ensure development. Reading supplementary books related to class subjects. I told you, you have to get over 80 marks for each subject. You want to read supplementary books, extra books related to your subject. Within educational programs, TV, internet, maybe other sources, proper use of textbook. Another important thing, you have to use your textbook, read your textbook, identify where you cannot understand and you will get from support from your teacher, your subject teacher, exchanging knowledge and experience from your elders, from your teachers. Improve inborn talent by engaging sports and cultural activities. You have inborn talent. Very special talent you have. Engage in sports. You can do many sports. Think of it, what sport I can do? When you study school, you try to do at least two sports in school and co-curricula. You can join to school environmental committee, school scouting, school volleyball team, school debating team, like that. You have to join so many co-curricula activities. So you can put the develop and you can achieve many goals. Another 
important thing i think you understood what information you have to know about yourself another thing very important to you is plan planning planning is essential for our life let's think what is planning planning is the implementation of segments of tasks within a time frame in order to carry out the task more effectively i will explain more simply think of it i think you all have a time table when you study your subjects hmm, you have a time table according to the days of the week you separated the time period the time blocks monday evening monday morning what subjects you study when you study your subjects very important plan work to a plan work to a plan as a student you have to work according to plan i think many students have time table and they work according to time table that is very good to have a time table from today think i will make a time table i will study according to time table and i will achieve my all goals think of it i will get over 80 marks for my subjects planning is more important as a student of grade 6 you have to work according to a plan what are the advantages or benefits we can get through planning and organization you can get many advantages derived through planning and organization one save time when you plan you can save time because you are work to a, you work to a plan facilitate task you can do your work very easily next minimize problems no problems because you have a plan you can use resources carefully ensure happiness you feel happy develop some self confidence you feel i can do it think of when you work to a plan you study your subjects in plan you will get marks over 80 marks for your subjects that you feel i am confident self confidence is very important for your life reduce mental stress no problems so my children you understood now what advantages you can get by planning and organization let's see who is a systematic student this table shows you characteristics of a systematic student and characteristics of a not systematic student what are the features or characteristics of a systematic student works to a system always he has a plan and he works to a plan makes maximum use of time that student of systematic doesn't waste time he use maximum use of it 
when studying, when doing sports, all the things he managed, achieve one goal, getting uh, good marks and high marks for your subjects, winning sports events, participating in aesthetic activities, free from mental stress, no problems you in your mind, wins challenges easily. To win challenges is to achieve your goals, you have to work to a system. Very important. So, let's see what are the features of an unsystematic student. Drop essential steps, unable to achieve the goals. All important steps are drops. Postpone work, he unable to do work properly. Maybe he tell. I will do it tomorrow, I will do it tomorrow, I can't do it today. When you work to plan, you will think, I can do it. Greater opportunities for regret. You also worry, I cannot do it. What happened to me? Always in a sad mind. Works a lot of mental stress. You're always in trouble, always in. When he not planning, uh, when you are a teacher gave you some homework you didn't do that because you have no planning feels difficult to feels difficult to face challenges so you are unable to face your challenges you are unable to win challenges you are unable to face obstacles so planning is important to our life Okay, my loving children, today we discussed about I myself inquire information regarding me. Under this topic, we learned about who you are, what qualities you have, what weaknesses you have, what obstacles and challenges you face, what goals you should have. This helps you to understand who you are. I think you got clear understanding about this lesson. Okay, my children, thank you.